the real housewives of lagos you has requested the real housewife of lagos is not big brother niger this is an ensemble of wealthy successful well-to-do women this is an ensemble of confident fulfilled women nobody can walk over any of these cast members the real housewives of lagos for those that don't know is a big franchise it's franchise has availed these women so much opportunity chema had said on temisa's podcast tvt that she didn't want to return to the show but her friends persuaded her to come back i want to believe this woman understand the opportunity they have been given they have been shown on a global scale the endorsement the opportunities that are the benefits each of these cast members are being paid a specific amount of money each of these cast members are being paid per episode so depending on your status for example, I'm pretty sure Yabo Ojo is the highest paid. It's a very smart move from her side. With this show, now Yabo Ojo doesn't even need to be in any other movie. And one thing with this reality TV show is it's addictive. We know that most of what they do is scripted. We know that these women, they're not even friends. Most, they're acquaintances. They're giving us a glimpse of that 1% of the 1%. Everybody wants to have an idea as to how these people live. See, Diola Atalade is the creator of this show, Dari's, uh, Dari's wife, very, very smart woman. See, this is a gold mine. Let's talk housewives, shall we? Yabo Ojo does not like faith, and here is why. Yabo Ojo is, is very Nigerian to the core. She appreciates it, she loves it, she showcases it every chance she gets. She feels faith is fake. What's up with this whole image that you have? What's up with this whole facade? Show us your real self. You're not even as foreign as Choma is. So what's up? The fake accent, the composure. Give me your real self. It is one of the reasons why she doesn't like faith. Another reason why she doesn't like faith is because at the beginning, the way faith came. No faith. Mori has this like, she commands presence. Even she would not have seen anything because of her appearance and that height. Height is very intimidating, especially for a female. She looks as if she's coming to take over. No woman likes that. <laughs> so most of these women came back to this show. They wanted to be the most talked about. And I need you guys to understand something. Yes, this show is scripted, but it's the events that are scripted. What they are saying is not necessarily scripted. From the inception of this franchise, it's supposed to be ratchet. So I can't wait for the reunion. In as much as we want ratchetness in this show here, in as much as we want it to, them to get down and dirty, use your words. You can't use your words. Walk away. Then putting your hands on your fellow woman on national TV. Come on now, it's a bad look. This season, Tiana didn't necessarily bring it. She was doing this king of fashion, king of boys. I'm, nobody can send me in an errand. I'm nobody's this one. I'm, I, this show is supposed to be about toxicity. Let me just say it. That is the truth. You're supposed to talk here and then talk here, then go and talk on this one, talk. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be forming maturity on this show. No, we know, yes, you are the king of fashion. We know you are the chief number. You're on a TV show. Give us the juice. You feel me? If this one tells you something, go and tell the other one that look at what this one tell me. I won't lie. Tiana was boring this season. Last season, she was a shit. But this season, she was forming too mature, too mature. Why are you not back on the show? This show is for shameless people. <laughs> God forgive me. It is, though. It is. No, she didn't have any storyline whatsoever. And the only thing is, Tiana has stories for days. Her life is actually really interesting. I love me, Miriam Tima. I don't care what anybody's going to say. This woman is reality TV gold. I said I want Miriam Tima to understand this. Mama, you can stand on your own. You are enough drama. Your worry is enough. One thing that I'm trying to understand about Miriam Tima is, why is it that anytime you get into a physical altercation, you they come on shit? <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> She literally was like, unzip me. Like, wh why? She does that every time. To be honest, yeah, I love her. I love the way she was just doing, yes, scatter everywhere, yes. Talk everything that comes to your mind, yes. Destroy. <laughs> I love her. I like how she was in everybody's throat. Yes, in the best way possible, though. I love how she was just giving them. Even though her comeback game is not necessarily strong, she's going to get stronger. She just continue. You get me? Don't tip here. So, of course, she knows what she's doing. She knows what this classroom is going to do for her. There's no maturity when it comes to reality. Don't be doing kumbaya here. No, 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 no. We want violence. <laughs> so Laura is a businesswoman. She's an Igbo woman, very smart lady. She would have easily decided not to come back for season two because she had a really fucked up season one. Almost all of the women were against her. Like, and for good reasons too. She really was something else the first season. But she's smart. She understands what this platform will do for her. And the money that I get in prayers is is nothing compared to the exposure alone, what exposure will do for them. She literally got free publicity, free, on a global level. 
Laura this season decides to be the jovial, beautiful, happy Laura that we all know on Instagram. Like how Laura stands for what she believes in. You know, get what you want, Laura. I like how she laughs off things sometimes. She chooses her battles. When you know which to cough, Laura won't even bother. But when you try Laura, be ready. No matter how much they complain, they will not leave the show. Except the producer will be like, we don't want you anymore. Because they know what they are getting and it's only going to get better. The fashion goddess herself. Can't bring Benita for Chama. <laughs> fashion alone, like nobody goes. Chama is always put together. To a large extent, it's even annoying. How can you be perfect every single time? Chama is gorgeous. She's prim. She's proper. She has class. She, has, she exudes it without even stressing. Now, why? Yamo did always compare Chama with faith. Chama is too much of a confident woman. She's too much of an intelligent woman to be kissing ass. I don't think Choma is kissing Yabo Joe's ass. I think she genuinely likes the woman. And she also understands that she has a relationship with Yabo Joe's daughter. I like how she inserted herself into different, different situations. I like how confrontational she was. You need to have some sort of story to continue being relevant on this show. How much did they pay S.O. Deep Gay for him to appear on this show? That check must be really, really big. Because it's very obvious that he was just acting. There was Chema said no go even date SODK. Chema is too high maintenance. He want to kill our actor for us. You are Chema Ikoku. Who day? A lawyer and half. Don't fucking do that. Her mouth, eh? I love it. I love it. I love it. I think Faith, Mori Faith is actually a sweet lady. This type of lady that knew what she wanted out of life. She molded herself. See how prim and proper this lady is? She learnt it. She picked it along the way. She, she associated with the right type of people. Don't worry. Nobody can make her shit. She can't go out of character. It go hard. She's gone through life. As in, she said it countless times that she came from a small town in Ikeri. And look at her life now. She's very, very, very deliberate. She came to steal this show. Yabojo caught it on time and got offended like, I'm the queen, not you. All of the things that she did was very intentional, especially in her confessionals. Do you guys know how intentional you have to be for you to print a shirt? with a raccoon on it all of her props that she was bringing in during her confessionals the women just give it to her too easy <laughs> people like this yeah they're already five steps ahead of you she's very very smart and she has primed herself so much so that she feels relaying to that other part of her to remain her bringing herself flow at this point here yeah, tanya is supposed to pay every housewife <laughs> of lagos that franchise she's supposed to pay them Tanya is two-faced. She has a beautiful personality. But she was thrown into this circle of women that are very, very confident and very, very confrontational. Tanya is not that girl. She is very, very quiet and in, into herself. She's scared. She's kissing Yabojo's ass. It's very, very obvious. She's kissing Choma's ass because Choma brought her into the group. I feel she's still needs time. She's going to come into herself. And she's not the confrontational type. It didn't was even annoying. You say something during the show, then your confessionals, you say the exact opposite. It was given bipolar. That's what it was given. It was given bipolar. See, this thing of licking ass here yeah, is just disgusting. I don't understand why you would see somebody and every sense of principle and reason that you have will fly out the window. Of course, you would relate to this person and not be disrespectful. That doesn't mean you start being a yes man. The way he was so scared of uh, Yabo Ju was this. She would tell him, sure, she will stop talking. She would tell him, don't interrupt me. Baba will keep quiet. <laughs> the thing that he was talking plenty behind your back. During that final episode here, yeah, he was just lying on faith oh god that faith was going to take out yabo joe's husband that was a very stupid thing to say he said that out of panic and the women knew he was lying they knew that this one was just chatting shit but because of how they felt towards faith they decided not to raise hell on him it was such a disgrace and an embarrassment a group of women i make you the shake Nothing. and by the way don't get on yabo joe's bad side i understand yabo joe get one bone <laughs> thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it.